Hello Recloud Moon Collections here today, and today I want to show you some more Arkham Asylum custom figures. Today we have a small Joker crew and a slightly more accurate Batman. So let's jump right into it with the Joker. Look, we all know that Joker for Arkham Asylum deserves the uh, Peter Venkman hairpiece in the green. But they don't make that. So I decided, hmm, otherwise it would just be the same as the Lego Bat or like the 2012 Joker. So I decided, let's make the TV version where he's wearing the TV on his head. So, um, I will show you the construct. Otherwise, it's just a gun and the regular Joker body. We have one of these pieces with these two up there. If we take this apart, we can see the insides of this, in fact. I know, this is blurry, wait a second. We have this little construct, which is the back, but... We have a 2x3 black plate connected to some bricks. In the middle here, we put this little thing. You insert that right in the top stud. You can put this on the back of that. And then you can put this thing on top, creating an old... TV and then his neck just attaches to that stud in there. So there you have the TV Joker. I thought it was a custom that not a lot of people made, so it would be kind of fun to make. Here is Harley, which you may know I have showcased before in a larger showcase video, but I have updated her since. She uses the 2012 Harley Quinn uh, face, the new Harley Quinn uh, pigtail piece from the Welcome to Apocalypse Work set, as well as the bat is from the Apocalypse Work set, and the legs. Um, no, nice to old legs. But then her arms are from the Series 18 Dragon, I thought. That kind of looks like diamonds. She has the body, or the, the torso, of the uh, Harley Quinn from the Lego Batman movie the version that is the nurse in the CMF series. And then she has a tutu, which is one of the pop stars from the Lego Movie 2 CMF series. So there is Nurse Harley Quinn from Arkham Asylum. Or Warden Harley Quinn. Here is a pretty generic Joker gun, but still it's good to have generic guns. Um, he uses the Conja Club members uh, legs he has the torso of Bodhi Rook from Solo Star Wars, not Solo, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. He uses the 2012 clown face, and then there's a, I threw on a random hair piece at the top, doesn't matter what hair piece you use. And then I have this uh, three long kind of light super hilt that is in gunmetal gray. You can also use black, but gunmetal gray is what I found in my collection. And then I put a blue stud at the hole in there so that you can have their little shock things that Batman can attack, but there's just a generic Joker. Yep, this is the same as the regular new 2019 Batman, except for these. And if I can get these off. These are actually the edges of Lego handcuffs. What it is, I took some scissors, cut them off, and then I put them on Batman's wrists, because he tends to have these things on his wrists in the game, so I thought that just made it a little bit more accurate. Otherwise, this figure is pretty easy to get. You can get it in a $20 set, the freeze, bat cycle kind of chase thing. But there is Batman. Anyways, there was the showcase. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, of course, we had our three figures, TV Joker, Harley Quinn, Joker Thug, and Batman. Did I say three? Did I said four. I don't remember, but... Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell so there's a video. More Arkham Customs coming soon. In fact, I have a work in progress scarecrow. I need one more piece that actually just came out um, on Friday, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Don't be craggled, and peace out.